my name is Houston Promo. Welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little more special today. I'm going to be making a scoreboard. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the back in the background. My mom is taking back. It's very annoying. And you can just leave. I'll have new videos up later. And you can also go check out my other video about my top four teams and predictions for the National Championship and Rose Bowl and Sugar Bowl. So, I'm making a scoreboard today. And why? Because I got this idea from Quincy Bell Sports, the, fan, the, the YouTuber. If my cousin Nathan's watching, then shout out to him as well. But if he told you if you want to make sure it's your scoreboards, make something like a. Make something like, you know, something like, as you can see, this is my drive right now, but I can't do anything because I don't know where everything went. I think I'm just going to need to restart everything, but I had another one where you had to do the initials. But look, I'm doing logos right now. I'm making streams for the Boston College of Notre Dame game this um, Saturday. So I'm happy to do that, but let's get right into the video. So technically, I've already made the logo. If you move this logo, you can see there's a little blue box, but that's unneeded. That's unneeded. So, what you want to do is you want to go to shapes, press rectangle, and you want to put the rectangle anywhere. But what you need to do is you need to put it on the top of this, drag this down, drag it down about there, and you want to change the color. So, then you want to move it a little this way. You have a whole entire wide space to draw. Like what you want to draw and stuff, what you want to write and stuff, so yeah, even a little wider. We're going to make this space really wide, but before we do that, we need to make the place for the score, and the score needs to be about this big. So you want to change this to navy blue. You go down here, change it to navy blue, but when you're, when you're doing stuff like that, that's just the outline. You want to press fill color, navy blue, now that's not the right deal. Let me find the right blue. It's not that. It's that. No. What blue is that? That's they're using. That's green. Are they just using black? No. Okay. Well, I'll be back with the right color. Okay, so I did end up finding it. It's just the color. You just have to make a custom color. I can show you guys that in a separate video. Custom colors and more about this type of stuff. I don't know why I'm seeing that. I have headphones on right now. But now what you want to do is you want to go to insert right here. This is all of Google Drawing, by the way. So if you go to a different tab and you look up Google Drawing, I already have it like in there because I do this every day. Google Drawing, you can make your logos there. I guess from a YouTube, you know this. So then go down to Word Art, and you want to just type in zero. Because zero is your number right now. And you want to have this about the same color as, as what Notre Dame's color is. Which Notre Dame's is kind of just like an outline of that. So you want to just keep it that. But then the font I use is usually Fogo's one. But... If I don't want to use this time, let's change it. Let's do caveat. Hmm. What do you guys want to do? That looks really good. I'm going to keep it like that. So, essentially, now, 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 now is the place where you make your thing. Get another rectangle, put it here, put the rectangle right up here, go down to about the same length, and try to draw your box. Out wide, like this. Draw a little wider. This is perfect, but we're gonna draw it a little wider. That's perfect. Now you want to change this color. You want to go to fill color white because now this is where you place in what down it is and what stuff you have to do. Your color. You go to text box and you type in. Let's just say. Okay, so I usually do quarter one. Quarter one. Two. Um. 15, 15 minutes, and then you want to click 
click this where you can drag it go up here to about the top corner put it there and there you go it's that easy then you gotta do it again now what you have to do is you gotta do the down whatever you wanna do so you gotta, you gotta do first down and then you throw that get this and bring it up here just a little lower that's perfect and then one more thing this is now what you have to do for now this is what you have to do for um to make this a make this what the ball is on ball on what I like to do is either Boston College or BC slash BC slash N D twenty five. So number twenty five. Go up, down about here. And that's it. Now you can make an extra text boxes. So let's say you wanna let's say you wanna um, Say you want to make a little things over here, or you want to make it rank. Your know, game's rank, where you make a box right here. You make it really small. Drag it out to the length of Notre Dame logo. Look at this. Now, add your text box and do hashtag, and then what rank they are? They are number two. You move this up here, and move it even more up, because that's how it's supposed to be. Right number two. There you go. They're right number two. And then one change is box to about the same color as Notre Dame's. So add the custom color. You want to add the. You get the custom color. Add it, and then you need to change this number that we put. I don't know where it went. You do need to change it. Actually, exit out of this and go to here. Click on this and put that as a custom color. Then you want to get your text box. Put it here. Oh god, that is weird. Exit out of that. Get a text box again. Put it here. You want to do rank, rank. Hashtag, hashtag two. Yeah. You put a little up here. You want to change the color of this. So then you do control, and then you you, you highlight that. Then you want to go over here. What color do you want it? Kind of want it this one. That's perfect, right? And then in the middle right here. Now at this point, you can make the box really little. And that's what you do. Now, now this part, if you want to make another one, you go to text box. Not text box, my bad. You go to shape. Rectangle again. Come up here. Move this. Go over here. Um, if you guys want to skip this whole entire part, you can. The time is right here on the screen. We'll move on to Boston College side of things. There you go. But if you're still here, then what you want to do is get a text box again. Then you want to just write something. Let's say ACC in conference four. Add it a little up here. That's perfect. It's perfect, but you do want to change this background. Trust me, you do. To move this back, change this to white. To change this over here, yeah. Forgot, you have to go to school color. Real white. And then you want to move this all the way up here. Like this. You want to change that to something else. ACC in conference play. That's how you do it. Okay, well, if you skip the year, now you know that now we are going to be doing the Boston College side of things. So, if you're asking how to do Boston College, well, it's simple. Shapes. Over here. 
move it over here up up top put it down to where your last box was and at this point you just want to move it all the way over I know that's smaller than Notre Dame side of things but now you can get the Boston College side of play so go look up Boston College okay we'll go Boston College logo Okay, do I literally look up Boston? Boston College. Thank you. Right. Boston College logo. This is the one I'm going to pick because I think it looks really cool. So I'm going to pick this. What you want to do, get your snip, and snip a tool out. I'm going to go to File, New Snip, Click New, Click New. I'm going to go down from about somewhere up here. Okay, so get your stupid tool out again. Stupid tool out again. Click new again. You got it wrong like me. I just fill it. It's a really hard thing to fill. That's not good enough, so let's just do it again. Hmm. One more time. How about we just copy the image? That's perfect. So, what we're going to do is go down here to copy image. And we may join. And, first of all, you want to change this to Boston College's color. They are. They're out there. It's like kind of a bridge, but they're mostly red. So, we'll change this down to that. You know, here. Sure, why not? And then you paste. Move it all the way down to here. Move it up into here. Perfect. Now. Go to here. Add another one. Move it up. Go down. Move it over here. And we we'll change this to that. And you want to go back to insert word art. And you want to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to finish up the touches and I'll be back. Okay, so you can see right now in Streamlabs OBS, this is where I stream, and this is actually where I record videos. This is actually where I'm recording my video now. You can see down in this corner, if you guys can see it, I'll move my little thing out of the way. It's right there. So that is where, this is where right here, where you have your recording place. So that's where I record, but if you, if I move this out of the way again, it's actually a place where you go live. And that's what you want to do. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm doing stuff. Been doing stuff on this, but if you wanted to go live, all you have to do is press go live, and you should be able to press YouTube and stuff. I can get my phone out and do it later if you guys want. But down here, all you really need is is a webcam and a see like this a webcam, and you want to move this webcam. Just a little bit, but put your webcam like right here. Now don't mind it going down because this is all people have to see. You, your webcam, and other things. So now what you have to do is you have to go to add a new source, go to display capture, the primary monitor and secondary monitor, add source. Use a new source instead. You're gonna name it Scoreboard Stream. And 
hear whatever you want. But my name is Corbo Strain. Do this. Now look, you have that. Now you want your webcam. Now where did my webcam go? No one has any idea because my webcam's not on the screen anymore. So, whoa, my TV So if you want a game stream, I already have this all set up, but what you want to do is you kind of just want to move this back to where you were right now because at some point you're going to need to do this. And you see how it sees your screen? It should see your screen. You have this, but it's more easier to do this in a different computer or a different OBS. The OBS is called. It's called. That OBS is called OBS Studio. Click on it when you're there. It might not work for me because yes, an OBS is already running. So click on the OBS. Bring it up on your screen. You see how it's like this right now? That's because I'm on the wrong type of thing. You see how it's all like like that? What you want to do is you want to exit out of this. Um, I'm going to start recording on the other one. But I think it's glitched right now. Is it? No, we're still here. Okay, so back to what we were doing earlier. You see this? We have this all set up. It's all ready to go for our stream. Okay, Boston College versus Notre Dame. It's going to be a pretty good game. But I don't believe Boston College has a rank. We can check real quick. But football plays. No, they don't. They're not that good they're four and they're, they're five and three i mean that's a good record if you want to make the playoffs in the nfl but no it's just a thing <sighs> sorry i'm a little tired but you see all these teams right now boston college five and three i'm expecting it to be a blowout but we'll see um so what you want to do after this you want to press this minimize button go down to obs you want to bring it up See how it's all weird right now? If you zoom in here, you have to create a new scene if you want to do this. So go to scene. You want to create a new one. You want to make it stream scene. Press OK. And now this scene, go down to stream scene. I don't know how to get out of this screen. Oh, it's so annoying. I'm gonna exit out and rejoin this one more time. You guys want to skip this part? There's another timestamp on your video, on the video right now. I'm just gonna cut it actually, so there is still gonna be no time. But yeah. So back here on Streamlabs OBS, um, I'm having a pretty hard time with this right now. So if you go back to your Google screen. And I'm just gonna take a quick video of this, but and see if it and see if I can work it out. But what you actually want to do is you just want to keep this kind of centered on your screen, and you kind of just want to keep it like this. You want to leave some space at the top. So we're gonna zoom this out a little bit because we gotta figure out what we have to do. But Zoom this down a little bit again. I'm just gonna, just gonna put it out of picture for now. We'll be back. Well, trust me, we'll be back. We will be back. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come out of here. Can I lower this? I can. Okay, so no, we can. We can do this. So this is what they see when they see your stream. And you just kind of want to center it to a part. Like this. And then this is where the part where you have your camera come into play. You see this right now. But trust me. So you get your camera. It's so much better. Let's move this down. So let's move this down again. We take our cam. We're going to take this. Now we're going to take our camera. And we're going to just kind of fit this through. Make the final dash.
Okay. Okay, so boom, there you go. You have your stream all set up. Right here is where you where you just talk and listen, now that you have the stream all set up, when you need to change stuff, just go to here, right click, go down to edit text, change this to you know, six. And when they make the extra point, go down to edit text, go to seven, make it seven. So I'm looking forward to seeing y'all tonight for Among Us. I'll do Among Us stream. But I'm most excited to see you on Saturday for my stream. So I didn't see it better right here, but I'll see you guys next time. My name's Kings and Cornwall. Peace.